Hello, folks. I couldn't continue M17 tonight because there's clouds in the low south area, so I'm starting a brand new target, and I'll get back to M17, hopefully on the next clear night. But I'm going after the top of the, the Pelican Nebula. That's a really cool and detailed area. And as usual, I'm going to be capturing, starting off, I'm going to do this in Hubble. That's my favorite thing to do right now, and plus, well, my filters for RGB are a little bit dirty, I noticed. And I don't want to take the camera off and screw up my rotation right now for M17, so I'm going to stick with the narrow band filters for now. And then when I'm finally done with all my open projects, I'm going to clean everything out, including my sensor. So that that was the long story. So I, I'm, I'm doing uh, three-minute exposures on HA right now. and This is how a single raw image looks like. And uh, this is the really cool area. It looks like another elephant trunk going on there. Or, or actually more like the Pillars of Creation. Kind of that shape. And uh, I'll be back to check on my guiding. It looks like I'm heading into a dither right now. My guiding right now is 0.67. I'll just not come back later. We'll just look at my guiding right now, 0.69. And uh, the dither will skew it, of course. It's going to be coming up right about now. Let's see. There it goes. Okay. Well, that's how that goes. Let's, okay, let's just see how long this takes to recover while we're here. Come on, declination. Sometimes declination takes a bit long, but that that wasn't too bad. It already recovered. And it skewed my, my toad RMS error up to one. Let's clear that out for a second. And I'm already on my next image. 0 0.48, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. All right, I think it's going to be hanging in that 0 0.6 range. I can deal with that. Okay, I'm going to stack a few images in a while and see how it's going. Well, after a brief cloud delay, I lost about two hours waiting for the clouds to leave. But anyway, I'm imaging again, and I've stacked the first... 13 images that came through at 3 minutes each. That makes this a uh, 39-minute image, and it's looking pretty good. This is the detail I wanted along this ridge here. I mean, all over, it just looks like a cool nebula. So I think it's going to be interesting. I, I'm going to go for 3 hours each in all of my narrowband filters and see how it turns out. Okay, it's probably going to be a multi-day process because there's just not enough dark hours to capture them all in one night yet. So, hey, I'll be back. I want to show you how the bubble turned out. Okay, so I captured over nine hours on the bubble nebula, three hours for each filter. This is my sulfur, oxygen, and HA, and uh, the oxygen filter is pretty bright around the edges, but running um, a background distraction fixed that so it looked a lot better edge to edge. And when I combine them, uh, this is what I came up with. Now I've captured the bubble nebula many times before, but I think this is definitely uh, the best version I've, I've come up with yet. And I was really going for that look to to see if I can make the, the, the bubble crisp and shiny, make it look like a real life bubble. And this is about as close as I could get. And this is also the first time I ran deconvolution. I ran it on the HA filter. And uh, a few people have been asking me if I could make a, a video on my workflow. And I wish I could, but right now it's my workflow is a mess. It, it, it's a lot of try this, try that, did this work, undo this, let's try that. It, it's just a lot of back and forth right now, and I think it would only confuse people if I tried to put down my workflow <laughs> in a video. I, I need more confidence still, and I, I need to iron out the kinks in my process, and then I'll see if, see if I can do a video. But uh, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.